Hi guys, welcome to this video on quadratic equations, in particular solving quadratic equations with common factors. Okay, so question one says solve this following quadratic where it says x squared minus 4x is equal to zero. So what solution will we get? Now, noticing that these two expressions, or well, this expression here, uh, x squared and negative 4x have a common factor. What's the common factor that we can take out? If you said x, you are correct, and if you take an x out of the first one, you'll end up getting an x in the first part of the bracket, so when you expand the first, you'll end up getting x squared. And by taking an x out of this, you're left with a negative 4, x times negative 4 is negative 4x. Now we're looking at the quadratic equation in factorized form. So looking at this first part and the second part equating that to 0. So x is equal to 0, the first part is equal to 0, or the second part is equal to 0. So x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 4. As we get that negative 4 to the other side, it becomes a positive. So we have 4. So x is equal to 0 or 4. We can always check our solutions just to make sure that we um, had our correct solution. So subbing our first one, 0, into our first expression. 0 squared, take away 4 times 0. 0 squared, take away 4 times 0. We need to um, be getting an answer of 0 for it to be true. 0, take away 0, is 0, so therefore that's true. Looking at the second solution, 4. 4 squared, take away 4 lots of 4, which is 16, take away 16. That is equal to 0, so therefore it's true. So our two solutions are x is equal to 0 or 4. Okay, um, our second example involves the quadratic with um, an expression in terms of y. So rather than x, we've got y. So we've got 3y squared plus 6y is equal to 0. Pause the video and see how you went. Alright, so after taking out a 3y, that's the highest common factor, we'll end up getting a y plus 2 in brackets. Check it by expanding 3y times y, 3y squared. 3y times positive 2 is positive 6y. Okay, the first part is equal to 0, or the second part is equal to 0. Divide both sides by 3, we end up getting y is equal to 0. Subtracting 2 from both sides, we get y is equal to negative 2. Just writing them in ascending order, we have y is equal to negative 2 or 0. Now again, let's just verify that we know that these two are going to be correct. So checking our solutions, substitute 0 into our expression, and we end up getting 3 times 0 plus 6 times 0, that is 0, so that's true. Next one, 3 times 4, so that's 12, plus 6 lots of negative 2, that's negative 12. 12, take away 12, is naught, so that is true. So here are our two solutions. Okay, uh, question 3 and question 4. Um, again, factorize those and then solve those quadratic equations and then check your answers. Okay, so for the first one, uh, you should have got p is equal to naught or 2. And the next one, you should have um, solved this quadratic to get x equals 0 or 5. Alright, thanks for watching this video.